this is going to change your life. And I'm saying it again, this is going to change your life. If you're not doing this, then you're not getting the best out of your camera yet. So hey loves and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly navigate your DSLR camera. I'm going to be showing you the best settings and how to properly set your DSLR camera in the way that you get the best possible quality looking video so yeah if you're someone who is just starting off with creating video content or you just got yourself a dslr camera this video is a video that you must watch yeah let's get started with my camera settings and how i set my camera in a way that it looks like this so let's get started okay so if you just got yourself your dslr camera or if you've been recording video content and you're not satisfied with the quality that your video or your camera is giving off odds are you are recording in auto you are recording in auto mode now the first thing that i would advise you to do or the first thing that you actually need to do to proceed and to go on with this video is to make sure that you're recording in manual settings change it to manual settings that way you can use your eyes to determine how you want the video quality and the video content to look like so i'm going to be talking about five things that are very important we're going to cover the video quality that's one we're going to cover focus we're going to cover the picture style we're going to cover white balance and we're going to cover something i like to call the light triangle right and that is the iso the shutter speed as well as the aperture it's going to be a systematic step-by-step -step process i'm going to go in depth with each of those five things that i just mentioned because each of them it is so important each of them plays a very vital role and it sense that if you go wrong in one it can affect every other thing no matter how perfect the other four are it will just Nah, it, you need these five things to be in check and you need to make sure that these five things are in check when recording, before recording and when recording. Let me show you guys how I do that over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys behind the camera. I'm also going to take you guys in front of the camera and with the camera, with the camera in the sense that I am using my laptop as my monitor so i'm seeing what i'm recording now and that's something that you guys should definitely do if you're a one-man production or a one woman production is to have your laptop or your monitor set up so that way you can control it and you can see yourself like this right here hi guys say hi hi <laughs> what's that but that way i can see what it's what's happening over here i can control everything over here i'll leave the link to this video on how to do that how to set your laptop into like a monitor and uh, it's very detailed if you watch it you you're, you're good to go you're you're good to, you're good to go so highly advise you to watch that one before this one so that way we can be on the same page so watch it over here and yeah Thank me later okay so moving on so the first thing i want to cover is the filming quality now if you're filming your video content something i'd advise you to do is to kind of check out the specs of your dslr camera figure out what's the highest rate your highest quality your camera can record in. now these days there are cameras are recording 4k which is now like normal but for me my camera the highest quality my camera gives off is hd that's like one um 1080p and yeah so figure out what quality your camera records in the highest quality your camera can record in and make sure you're always recording on that highest quality don't don't still flow girl make sure you're always recording in the highest quality the least you should do is hd and hd is 720p so make sure you're either recording in 1080p 720p if you can 4k if your camera can that way you get the best quality anything aside from hd is a no now while figuring out the quality that your camera can record in i want you to take note of your frame rates now currently i'm filming in 29.9 frames per second which is also equivalent to 30 but i'm filming in let's say 30 frames per second so now that we've gotten the filming quality and the filming rates in check i hope you guys are on the same page with me um what i want to talk about now is what i like to call the lighting triangle 
because it has the ISO, it has a shutter speed and the aperture. Now these three things will determine how bright your filming room would be as well as how blurry your background would be. They are so key and I want you guys to take note of this while I'm showing you guys the entire process, okay? Okay? This right here, the one that has one over 100 is the shutter speed. The second one that has the f 2.0 is the f-stop, also known as the aperture. And this one that has 100 is the ISO, also has ISO between on it. Now, the first one I want to talk about is the shutter speed. Now, the shutter speed right now, you remember when I talked about the filming rate? I was filming in 30 frames per second. Take note of that. Now, because I'm filming in 30 frames per second, you need to make sure that your shutter speed is double that make sure it is double that but in this case um it's supposed to be 60 but in this case i can't have it at 60 because of my lighting it's gonna be too bright all right so for the iso depending on your lighting situation or the lens you're working with you can definitely increase the iso to maximum 800 never never ever 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 exceed or go beyond 800 when you do or if you do your videos will start looking grainy and it will deplete the quality of your video and and this 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 content we're trying to create now we're focusing on creating quality content so if you have to do anything more than 800 start thinking of investing in getting a, another lighting that way you don't need to stress your camera if i put an 800 overexposed so yeah play around with your settings but well, i would advise you to stick to 100 200 maximum 400 i just want to point out something when you're setting your iso shutter speed aperture you always want to make sure that you are evenly balanced right and to make sure you're evenly balanced you need to make sure that you're not either underexposed or overexposed and the way to do that is by clicking on yourself right here you want to make sure that the dial is at least at the center or maybe a notch after the center that way you get a good balance anything aside from that is going to look either too bright or too dark i want to move on to picture style now let's move on to picture style okay so now i want you to think of picture styles like Instagram filters or filters in general um, That's what they kind of are, but they are filters for your DSLR camera and I'm showing you the one that I'm filming on right now and my two favorite that I would recommend for you guys But before I do that, let me just show you guys what the filters look like individually and then show you guys my two favorites Okay, so what you want to do is to come over here You can set this on your DSLR camera, but because this is just easy for me You can come over here that says picture style. I can't click on it right now because I'm recording But let me stop recording and show you guys what I'm talking about All right So what you need to do is to go over to this picture style and then you can manually change what picture style it is You want to film on and that's how to do it <laughs> that we've gotten that out of the way i would love i love to film in neutral or in standard these are my two favorite picture styles that i would recommend so figure out which one works for you if you're creating beauty content these are the two that I, I would highly advise if you're creating like a sit down talk like a conversational kind of content then you can use portrait faithful any other one that suits your preference again it's trial and error figure out what works for you find out your own style and stick to that so let me move on to show you guys what my settings and the neutral setting looks like now i have my sharpness at four i have my contrast at minus two i have my saturation at zero and i have my color tone at zero i don't play around with saturation and color tone because saturation can either make me too vibrant or not as vibrant as i want so i keep it at zero color tone would either make me look green or pink let me show you guys what i'm talking about so let's move on to white balancing and this is something that oh, this is going to change your life and i'm saying it again this is going to change your life if you're not doing this then you're not getting the best out of your camera yet 
All right, so with white balance, something that I would advise you to do, because this is a manual thing, this is your personal customization. Everything we've been doing from the beginning, from when we switched the camera to manual to now, is just customization and doing it yourself. Now, something I would advise you to do before recording is to customize your white balance. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. You can do that here. It's easy, Like it takes like three seconds. Tap, 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 you're done. But for what I used to white balance, let me show you guys what I use. This is what I used to set my white balance. This is called a gray card. You can get this from Amazon, you can get this online, it's cheap, like $3 or thereabout. You can get this one or you can get the bigger one, but this is what I use. This, If you don't have this yet, something that I did, let me get it, is to use a white paper. Make sure the white paper is white. Make sure it's white, it's not blue, make sure it's white. And I'm going to show you guys how I do my custom white balance over here, just so we are on the same page. All right, so this is where the white balance buttons are. Your camera already comes with presets to kind of set your white balance depending on your lighting situation. However, I usually customize mine. I'm going to be showing you how I do that. Okay, so over here, we have a button called white balance. That's what we're going to be playing with. And below that, we have focus. That's what we're going to be talking about after this white balancing. So I'm going to hold my card here. I can't do this while I'm recording. So I need to stop recording and then show you guys the screen over here. So I'm going to stop right now and set my white balance. All right, so to customize your white balance, you want to make sure that you're set to custom so that way you can customize it. Then you click on that picker or dropper tool. So once you have clicked on that custom and you have clicked on that drop picker tool, what that thing is going to do is that it will just pick the color. That's how easy it is. One, two, three, four, you're done. It will just pick the color. So what you want to do is make sure that you're picking this color. Make sure you're touching this or you're touching a white color. I'm going to show you what I'm, what I'm talking about now. So if I touch a red color, it, the color is going to be off. Let me show you guys. So now we're going to do a little bit of like a test. I'm going to pick that dropper tool and then pick on a red color and you guys can see. Yeah, this is what my video now looks like. I picked a red color and it looks like this. So let me pick, let me pick this one so you can see how it just automatically corrects itself. So now I'm just going to correct that and set my white balance by just picking on that gray card and see done can we see how it automatically just corrects itself like just pick on this and you're good to go like like one two three you're done you've set your white balance but make sure that the light that you're recording with is hitting on um, the card right another thing another hack that um i want to show you guys if you don't have that practice using this um this works for me sometimes um but you have to keep trying and trying and trying um something i do is to have a white paper right and then pick on the white paper or pick on your white wall if you have a white wall sometimes i pick on my white wall sometimes so i'm going to pick on this i'm going to also i'm going to pick on the red um the red um, color over here just so you guys can see that i picked on the red and then it corrects itself so. all right so now i'm going to be doing the same thing but using this white paper so i just clicked on that red color and now i'm going to correct that by clicking on this white paper and guys see try different angles and different sides so that way you get the best representation customize your balance yourself i'm going to show you how i do it behind the camera let me just do that right now what i want to do first of all is to take a picture of this right i'm going to take a picture of this Okay, and now what I want to do next is to go over to my menu. I'm going to go to white balance, which is over here. Click on custom white balance. And then I'm going to get that picture that I just took. And get this picture that I just took and click on set. Now this would automatically set that as my white balance. And let me show you guys what it looks like. So now that we just set the white balance, this is what we are looking like. Amazing. And this is something that you need to do when recording. I can't even stress that enough. You need to make sure that your white balance has been set. If not, if you're working with colors, it's going to be going all over the place. So set that so that, that way it's fixed and it's, it's the same color all through your recording. Okay? Okay. The last thing I want to talk about is focus. Now, this for me, 
is something that I, I really don't want to stress on because again it depends on what camera you're using and I want to believe that cameras these days autofocus even my phone my phone is a beast when it when it's when it when it comes to autofocusing it's a, it's it's better than my DSLR camera to be honest with you but autofocusing is so important especially when recording videos you need to make sure that you are always in focus when recording imagine creating a content and you're filming and you're having conversation and from beginning to the end you're out of focus so make sure that you set the focus before recording you always want to make sure that you set your autofocus to tracking autofocus that way it tracks you wherever you go that way it doesn't lose focus on you that way you are always crisp and clear and you get the best quality as well so look for a camera if you're in the market for one that has autofocus capabilities especially tracking focus and it will make your entire production process amazing so yeah, um, I think I've covered up all the five things I've previously talked about. If this video was helpful, let me know down in the comment section. I am so focused on helping you guys create amazing content this year. And if you guys have any recommendations, suggestions, criticisms, let me know down in the comment section. Maybe I talk too much, but that's just me trying to explain as much as I can. If this video was helpful, feel free to come back. Let me know down in the comment section as well. That way I know that at least my talking too much or explaining too much is for a good cause and that someone out there is benefiting from it um i really want you to not just take out this theoretical side and just watch my videos and go and no i want you to put it to work put it to action that's why i said in the beginning that you should get your camera out and play around with what i'm talking about that way you are set and that way you are kind of setting with me that makes sense and that way you're practicing because with practice comes perfection you cannot be there except you make mistakes um i don't want to talk too much i hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in my next one stay fabulous and stay blessed uh 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 signing out i don't know what that was but bye guys mm -hmm.